Hello everyone, uh, I'm Kunal Sharma from KPM Engineering and in this very raw and informal video we are trying to explain the features of KFA 300. So first thing which you will note about this kit is that it is a very lightweight and small relay test kit and in fact it is the lightest kit in the market with analog outputs. Its weight is less than 3.5 kg in which there is a lithium ion battery also which can light on this kit for at least 8 hours and it is having a current injection time of more than 1 hours on that battery. So if we see uh, th in this screen you can see that battery information is there and uh, if we see that uh, there are a few modules if we select auxiliary DC then user can have an option of 24 48 volt or or 110 220 volt option in auxiliary DC now on the side panel we can see that there are two binary inputs and two binary outputs while there are three voltage sources of 0 to 265 volt and three current sources of 0 to 10 amperes now if we see the different software features first is AC test AC test is the most powerful uh, software in which you can vary phase frequency and magnitude of three current signals and three voltage signals independently any way you want and in this AC test you can find on the right hand side there is a ramping option also in which you can select any signal which you want to ramp in an automatic way also and manual way also and if you see the bottom panel there you will find on the left run stop and then uh, there are digital inputs and there are digital outputs so if you see that uh, digital inputs will be activated when a relay test kit will receive the trip command from any relay so digital inputs indication will be activated while a uh, digital output will be activated uh, if we just touch on that so now what we are currently doing that uh, we are trying to increase or decrease the uh, step magnitudes in the uh, in the ramping and uh, it can be done automatically also if we select the auto timing or it can be done manually also So uh, as we can see that digital outputs can be activated by just a single touch. Now if we just come out of that AC test, the most important module, uh, the second most important module is sequence. So sequential test. In that you can add different uh, states and run, uh, run all the states in a particular sequence. If you see the bottom panel again of uh, this screen you'll find that the states will be triggered by time or they can be triggered by the signal and then angle is mentioned that uh, that you can see that uh, there is an option for continuous basically this option is very useful when the signal uh, changes from one state to other the angle uh, remains continuous so there will be no break in the signal waveform now uh, the user can put the logics and or or for uh, changing from one state to other and they keep on adding the states it is very useful for testing features like uh, power swing like uh, uh, auto reclose functions so those type of things state sequencer is very good perfect now this uh, in this uh, this is a harmonic module sorry so in harmonic module we can uh, inject any type of harmonics in all the signals and we can uh, in fact we can ramp those signals also in the harmonic module so there is an option for up to fifth harmonic and uh, what we can see is that uh, we can increase in form of percentage or in form of magnitude so we can add any type of harmonics in that. So it is a very simple module. 
for generating any type of harmonics. And here comes the last module, which is a distance module. In that you will find two windows, one is parameter window and one is setting window. In the setting window, user can enter the mode, which is I constant or V constant, uh, CT direction, PT direction, current rating means fault current and angle uh, and the timings like pre-fault, post-fault uh, interval and grounding factor. So all these things are entered in the setting part. While in parameter window, you will find that a user can enter the impedance directly and the fault will be generated considering the impedance. This thing is very uh, easy for many users to enter the line impedance in the impedance uh, place and then select the impedance factor. Like uh, if your impedance is 10 ohms and you have selected 0.7 so 7 ohms will be uh, injected so it is very easy for many users to directly simulate zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 fault and uh, user can input the impedance values and values in form of voltage and current can be seen on the bottom window and then last is the system settings in which you can find options for hardware device calibration upgrading the software and here you can mention the nominal current and nominal voltage value also. So finally, we would like to say that KFA 300 is a revolutionary technology for those customers who want to test numerical relays and they keep on traveling from, uh, from one place to other. And for any kind of techno commercial inquiry, please feel free to contact us on the details below or mail us on sales at the rate kpmtech.com. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time.